Okay, uh, I think this is video 9, um, solving the Rubik's Cube with the Petrus method. So I, again, I have finished my two layers, and I have placed all of my corner pieces where they need to be. So the next thing that I need to do is to um, move all of the oranges up. Again, orange here, uh, even though the sticker is gone. So there is another, there is a sequence that you do in order to do this. What it does basically, um, it, it turns these orange, uh, the, these orange side pieces that are in the cross, but I don't care about that. The only thing I care about is moving up the corner pieces. So this will move up three at a time. So there are a few ways that this works. I'll show you. So I can move, if I move, if I start here on the right side, I will move up this one, I will move down this one, and I will move down this one. That's good. If you have two pieces here that are up, so two corner pieces are up in this case, then I'm going to have to use this technique twice because I move up three each time. I'm going to move up this, move down this, move down this. I'll only have this one up. The second time I do it, then I will move the other three up all at the same time. Okay, so here's what I do. Start here, and up, turn, down, turn, up, turn. That's 180 degrees down. And if I turn this around, it's not necessary, but helps to see, you'll see that all the corner pieces are still placed correctly, um, and now I have a single corner piece that's up. Then you say to yourself, well, okay, how do I know where to do that same move? I'm going to repeat it exactly, but um, where do I start? Well, here's, here's what you do. See how this is here, facing me, facing me, facing me. That means if I do the mirror image of what I just did, so starting on the left side this time, I will move up this, move up this, move up this. All of my corner pieces will be facing up. So that's up, over, down, over, up, 180, down. And you will see that now I have exactly what I need for solving the cube. Alright, next video.